I have like Cornelius Van Ertwistle before me, taken the mantle of the dragon, and my hoard, though reduced, is still equally precious. And I will protect it with fang and fire, here in the lightless abyssal dark, where no light has ever shone. <laughs> where do you live? Well, where do dragons always live? I live in a cave. But with my mighty tail, I managed to smash away some of the stalagmites and stalactites, so I'm getting a bit deeper. But the sun is hateful to me. It oppresses me. I don't like it on my scales. I don't like how it touches me wherever I go. If I wanted to be fucking touched by things, I wouldn't be a dragon, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't be here in the lightless dark. I'd be out there in the sun like you people. How would you conquer and gain more riches? Well, that's, uh, it used to be easy in the old days. I mean, riches used to be too. You'd have the tax collectors go out, they'd collect the taxes, because this country used to be a series of far-flung settlements who couldn't communicate with each other. Which was brilliant, let me tell you. And so I'd simply, through observation, which is easy when you can flap your wings and hover at about 20,000 feet, it's amazing how clearly you can see everything from that distance, you know. Everyone crawling around like good little ants. And after a while, down you come. And you'd wait until the taxes had all been collected from a certain town. You see, he's got all the money he's gonna get. By which point you'd need a carriage, which is nice and easy to grab in your enormous clawed talons. Often I wouldn't even need to burn the guards, but I would, just for the noise they made. That kind of choked off scream, followed by sort of sizzling, which I used to very much enjoy. And so I would swoop down and seize said gold, wheel about my leathern wings flapping, and burn them because it pleased me to do so. Contrary to popular belief, dragons don't actually need gold. There is no practical reason for it, but we like it. Why gold, not silver? Gold's more valuable. It's as simple as that, it really is. Why do you need gold? You're a dragon, what are you gonna spend it on? Your needs can be met easily. You can fly out and take cattle for your food, you can drink from rivers for your water. And it's true, we don't need gold at all. But the fact is, we like the potential of what it could be. And we also like the fact that if I've got it, no fucker else has. For we dragons have selfish, clawed hearts that nestle deep within our scaly chests. I fought many, many a dragon on the roleplay games online. Mm. Never once have I fought a diamond dragon. Diamond dragons are most terrible of all. The fact of the matter is, as you know, diamonds are very rare. Word on the grapevine is that diamond dragons live not in good, honest caves, but actually make their lairs deep, deep underground. So deep that the very mantle of the earth itself warms their lair. And there they slumber for a thousand years at a time, before emerging serpent-like and using their arms, because they don't have wings. Oh. Because they spend all their lives underground. It's controversial. It is controversial for a dragon. But using their armoured heads, they burrow through the earth and emerge in a mine. It usually gets covered up by your media, you see. And they burst out and consume a few workers, and then they wriggle their way up to the surface like a congery out of its hole. That's what happened in Chile, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, it was the movements of a diamond dragon that brought the, line, the mine in. It was, however, frustrated, and they've lost the ability to take on the man form, as we other dragons have. We can walk among you humans disguised as one of your sort. So you see, hypothetically, the best way to go would be to take on the man form and take over a diamond company and have all the diamonds redirected into, I don't know, a cave in the middle of N nowhere. But it's, it's just not practical, it's just not practical. It's not like it was in the old days, there's too much around. There's Twitter, there's Facebook, there's international media, lol, I just saw a dragon. Enough of those and you're rumbled and with modern military equipment, you, you cannot stand against it. Knights in plate armour were brilliant. They were fucking brilliant. They'd come swaggering in, all heroics and plate mail, and you burn them in. Well, it's hardly like, um, you know, Sir Winlot would come to you and go, Oh, just before I go kill that dragon, um, I'll just tweet that. Um, I've just seen a dragon at uh, 34.5 latitude 75.95. No, exactly. Uh, Sir Winlot, whose ancestors went on to found the dog food empire, of course, met a gruesome in at uh, the hands of one of my contemporaries who, and I, you know, whilst as I've complained about the modern age I wish back then we'd had mobile phones because I would have loved to have heard the noise he was rumoured to make